you're awake. You know, I never expected to have my chancellor over for a sleepover. Tom? Well, yeah, it's me. I got a call that you were in a hospital somewhere. I figured it was best to uh, bring you back here. I I called you? I was hoping for press. Sorry. Just wasn't expecting a rescue. Special sure everything has been going on. I'm assuming that for sure picked me up. Yeah, sorry, I, I I'm kind of in the dark here. What's going on? Did you get mugged or something? No. Far from it. I've been uh doing some investigation. Found some disappearances in the comatose victims in a small town. That sounds a lot like Shadow Games. Exactly. Someone or something has created these creatures that are hunting souls for a much bigger purpose. And well, I was found dealing with one of them. Well, you ain't no spring chicken. Oh, wait, are you calling me old? Well, on closer inspection, I do see a little bit of gray in your beard. Shut up! My age here isn't the problem, Tom! Uh, sorry, sorry. You, you know you've been out for a few days, right? No. No, it can't be. I must have been really sloppy in that duel. Or those evolved things. They, they must be that strong in shadow magic. Uh, sorry, what are these things you keep referring to? You act like they're monsters. That's exactly what they are. These things that are made out of the environment itself. They call themselves dark elementals. Things made of pure darkness itself. I've never faced them before in my line of work. I faced werewolves, vampires. You faced robots, Tom. And these things, they normally don't have a conscious or even a soul. But yet this one, it had a personality. And it wasn't like the other batch. They're evolving, Tom. Well, if they don't have souls, from the sound of it, they can't simply be put down by defeating them in a shadow duel. It's a tad disconcerting, don't you think? My thoughts exactly. Who knows how many times I faced the same one while they were feeding. The only thing I know is we gotta find the main source. And well, the only information I got is they call themselves some sort of lord. Ah, they're one of those cryptic types. Joy. You sure there's nothing else you've learned about them? These bastards know more about me than I know about them. They dropped their last name, Tom. It was my mother's. And honestly, the only people who knew about her were six feet under. Uh, I thought your last name is Yuki. Is it not? It technically is. You see, Yuki's my father's last name. I was kind of put up for adoption at a really young age. Well, it seems obvious to me that whoever this person is is either connected to your past or just really good at fucking with you. And a voice in my head is making me inclined to uh, believe the former. At this point, probably right. It's both. <sighs> made some pretty powerful enemies in the past, Tom. Oh, yeah, no doubts there, but you know, you don't have to take them on all by yourself, especially since they don't seem content on fighting fair themselves. And that is exactly the reason why I fight alone. Every time when this stuff is primarily on me, something happens, and either my friends or family get hurt, or even worse, killed. No, I know I've stuck with you be thick and thin through your problems, but not mine. Well, like it or not, you've got me involved now. And ain't gonna sit idly by and watch a friend destroy themselves. You watched me grow as a duelist firsthand, and you know I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. You helped me, and now it's my turn to help you. And I'm not gonna let you get hurt because you wanted to play lone wolf. Oh, and by the way, wasn't it you who called me for help? Yeah. I guess you're right. I do need help. Thanks for the talk, man. It's just that duel has given me the shakes. And honestly, I thought I buried my past, but it seems it's come undone again. So get your stuff and let's hit the road.
All we gotta do is track these things down and hopefully shake some more info out of them. If I know my cryptic conniving bad guys, they simply cannot resist spilling the beans once you get at them enough. <laughs> and knowing you, they flock at the best of times. You know, something's been bugging me though. They talked about having about these six vassals for the Lord. And honestly, chances are that we gotta be on our toes if that's the case. I was hesitant at first, but here we are now. Normally we wouldn't have to wait until nightfall, but maybe. If we find a place that's dark enough for them, we may be able to spot one. Well, what, what if I just... Uh... Is it working? So, you heard some uh, ghost stories or rumors about these woods that could lead us to the Dark Elemental deck? Yeah, it makes sense to me. Most people can't even perceive dual spirits, but even if they could, the uh, vast majority of these spirits aren't interested in spooky folks. True, but there have been cases of uh, vile dual spirits. Look. Come, Tom. I think we found our answers. Hey, wait a minute. This is that Gravekeeper Duelist guy that wouldn't get out of my hair. I guess they're getting more than just average Joes from off the street. I'm not too surprised. I mean, my soul was a valuable prize to them, and with enough soul energy, they're planning something big. And I highly doubt you'll be saying that Duelist again. I mean, I want to feel bad, but eh, it's probably for the best. Let's just hope they haven't screwed up anyone important. <laughs> Two in one day, Tom. Going for a new record? What is that? What are those things? Are those two gods? Let's go find out. <sighs> ah! Ah, jeez. Uh, Tom? You okay? Yeah, why? Oh. Huh. Great. A shadow barrier. At least we can see what's going on. With my guys being summoned, your hopes of winning are over, you sack of bones! Because of her, all the cards on her hands, fields, and graveyards are vanished! <laughs> it's a good thing my partner's card is unaffected by card effects this time. Yeah! That's right. Huh. Be glad that we use Soul Charge. Otherwise, our monsters will be attacking you and your ass will be back in the cemetery where you belong. Is that so? You spent so much of your team's life points just to bring out those. One bird card could it all for both of you. How reckless. <laughs> the chances of you having a card like that are zilch. Based on how you've been playing so far, you ain't got a single card in your deck like that. Ah, uh, such confidence. I'll thoroughly enjoy breaking it. it. Makes your despair even more... tasteful. Oi! The only despair in here is my god card! <laughs> well, you tried so hard to make sure I couldn't do anything. Well, let's see where this goes. I activate Pod of Greed. Oh man, a freaking top deck! If he can ever get you or something, we're screwed! No, Fred. I didn't get that. But I did get Painful Choice. Now, Mr. So Called Despair, you get to make a choice. Uh, me? What now? Choose which card I add to my hand, while the rest go straight to my graveyard. But it should be too out of a choice, right? Uh, you can have the head? You idiot! Why would you pick the head? You could pick one of the others that don't have an effect! What? I could? Yes! Oh, children, your friend's choice did not matter, for I planned on summoning whatever one he picked. Come, Exodia the Forbidden! 
for a monster. This guy's senile. <laughs> we got this. Oh, how wrong I think you are. Your partner is right. For I tribute my piece of the Forbidden One to summon the legendary Exodia Incarnate! I just made a big boo boo. Did I? Ah, fiddlesticks. <laughs> you are nothing but my prey. And like the little lambs you are, you were ever so clueless. But let me enlighten you. Due to Incarnate's effect against 1000 attack for every piece of the forbidden one in my graveyard. And thanks to painful choice, all five of them are accounted for. Oh, you're so fierce weaker than that thing! You think? Exodia Incarnate, slay the goddess for me and finish these two off! Toys for me. And what's this? These two I recognize. No. How are you here? Alexander Shadowmere! Sh should I know this guy? How? Well, as you can see, I am not among the living anymore, thanks to you. Or, well, should I say that nasty dark half of yours? After he shed in my soul ages ago. Let's just say I was able to be... revived. It's good to see you've grown, my young protege. Don't you dare call me that! Still a sore subject, I see. But you did my bidding oh so well. Embracing the shadows to take the souls of many classmates didn't give you a... rush. Shut up! You and that damn dual spirit manipulate my young mind! I feel like I'm missing a lot of context here. Oh, Sean never told you about his dark past. I'm not too surprised. He's very ashamed of it, even as going as far as to BACKSTAB ME! Let's just say I had a really good wake-up call. Bonds, I see you made some more. How about we suffer those ones too? JUST LIKE YOU DID MY LIFE! You wanna speak about that? YOU RUINED MINE! Now you leave Tom out of this business between me and you! Oh, but I can't for your friend there has something that I want. Oh great, and our Yahoo wants to take Obelisk from me. I swear, if I had a nickel for every time... Everyone wants the power of a god for their own machinations. First it was the sacred beasts, now it's the Egyptian gods! Oh, I can't have both. Cause last time I checked you unified with Uriah. So I can have another two-for-one deal, like I do with those two lambs you saw before. But I've grown fatigue, so I think I'll take in a friend. Uh, Sean, is that the creature you were talking about earlier? Yup. A dark elemental. <laughs> 